How cool is the grind on this? Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Like every Monday, I like to get a video out just to show you what I've been up to. So a little bit of a look around the shop and I'll show you what I've been working on and, and I just received some stuff in the mail. So let's go check it out. All right, my bandsaw has been copying an absolute flogging um, and you can sort of see what I've been working on there. I'll show you in a minute. So I've been doing a lot of milling over the last couple of days. And my little mill is going great guns, but what I'm really enjoying is this shop trolley that I've got set up, which I showed you in my last video. Uh, it's just made things so much easier for me. Everything's located in the drawers and really easy to set up and change out tools. All right, my little motor, guys, I've still been working on this. Let's take a look. Sorry if I had a little bit of a shaky video today, just doing some filming offhand. Um, I've got all the timing chain in, I've made the tension, I've made the adapter plate here, had to mill it out a bit because I didn't have long enough bolts. Um, now I frigged around cutting out the magnet and bolting on the coil, it doesn't work. So I'm pissing that off and I'll probably just put points in a car coil on this and I'll probably get the points to fire off the camshaft lobe up here and have some sort of timing plate. So I'm still working on it. Now. One of the biggest problems I had was the intake manifold. I had to cut and shut it. So I don't have an aluminium welder. So what I did, I just um, cut it off of my bandsaw, milled it flat, uh, put it over on my linisher, uh, did a bit of a, a V, like a V butt weld, but instead of using weld, I just used um, JB weld. And that's just in here drying at the moment or curing I should say. Now the other problem, let me just stand this camera up here, the other problem I had was the bloody carburetor when I got it off. Now this guy was an ex-copper so I can't hold that against him. Um, he told me it was a running engine but when I pulled the carburetor out of the box it had the corner lug snapped off the carburetor. So yeah, bugger. So I had to make this adapter plate. Alright, and then put JB Weld on that to hold it. To give you an idea what I'm talking about, here is the insulator block and you can see how that lug's been snapped off as well. Now, the motor is turning over. So let us let me take off the coil and how about I give it a bit of a flick start with a, back, with a drill so you guys can have a look. Give me two seconds here. Now Michael kind of thinks of everything. Um, so on, this is a chamfer tool he made me, and this is a carbide insert. So he's done ground that on his tool and cutter grinder. He's got two grub screws here which actually locate in the holder and hold the carbide in here. But underneath is where the magic happens. Now there are three jacking screws, just like jacking screws you'd have on a granite surface plate. He's got three here so I can just finally tune that uh, up and down if it's not right. I sent Michael the measurement, so this should be right on centre, but if not, I can always have a little bit of adjustment there. So I can't wait to give this a, a whirl. Thank you, Michael. I've made some room on my tool post here by moving this cutting tool forward, which allows me access to these two studs. Now, this is quite a big tool post on this machine. Uh, it's probably got about an inch opening, I think, from memory, and it will take some really big, chunky tools in there. Now Michael's chamfer tool that he's given me here, I'm going to slip that in here and when I do so I'm going to put some brass shims in here just so I don't scratch the top of that because it is made from aluminium. 
some of this brass shim stock in here and that will stop it from marking the top of the part yeah that worked well that round nose is there all right let's give it a whirl okay so the tools in there so let's check the center height now remember I gave Michael the measurement for my center height in here and he made that uh, the, the tool holder, the actual block itself, so it should be right on center. Let's check it. Let's use the old steel rule trick. This is a good little trick. Taught to me many years ago in trade school. Simply put your steel rule in there. Now check your height if it's vertical. If the steel rule is vertical, and that's pretty much spot on the money where I'm seeing it here. I don't know if you're seeing it on the camera. The camera could give you a bit of a parallax error, but that's uh, right on the money there. Well, I've got these test piece in the lathe and this is bright mild steel. If we just shove the Alvernia calipers on that. We've got 42 millimeters, which I think is roughly one inch is it 3264 something like that um, anyway 42 millimeters Sweet as Michael. That's going to save a lot of time. Another little package, a parcel came in the mail and it was from my good buddy Matt. Now Matt's from Man Cave Engineering and I showed Matt on my channel in the previous video. And it was very kind of him. He reached out and he said, look mate, I've got a couple of books in my bookshelf. I've just realised they're duplicates. I've already got them. Would you like them? I said, yeah, that'd be great, mate. So thank you, Matt all the way from down where you live, which is a couple of hours away from me. And the first one is the McPherson's Industrial Catalogue. Um, it is absolutely awesome, thank you. Okay, it was $2 back in the day, but it shows you all different sorts of, you know, shapes of grinding wheels and stuff to grinding. It had a, so it's a catalogue, obviously, for their sales. But it's real, I love these old books going through them and what they had on offer back in the day and absolutely amazing. All right, thank you, Matt. Let's go on to the next book. Now, the next book is this one here. So engineering, drawing and practice. So obviously, Matt, you've watched some of my technical drawing videos and you obviously you've realized I need help. <laughs> so here we have it here, guys. So this is really, really good all on hand drawing, pictorial views, sketches, sectional views. What else we got? You have sectional views, welds, sorts of welds, trusses, surface finish, and schematics and electrical symbols. Awesome, mate. All right, bloody beautiful. Let's check the last one. Engineering mechanics. 
Well, Matt, when I was studying to be a teacher, mate, I did two years of, uh, well, actually, over two years, we did a couple of engineering courses in our teaching degree, and uh, by Christ, it did my head in this stuff because it's a lot of it was high-end physics. So, you know, all that sort of stuff, forces and momentum, couples, free body diagrams, you know. For, you know, even where we even did concrete and tensile testing, concrete destruction, so, you know, destructive and non-destructive testing. Great stuff, buddy. They'll come to good use and they'll, they'll go straight, uh, as the movie The Castle says, straight to the pool room. No, they'll go straight to my office in my bookshelf, buddy. Thank you very, very much. Hey, thanks for stopping by my shop. That does it for today. Uh, I just wanted to get a video out. Like I said, I always love to put out a video every Monday. And that way then I've got some consistency. Um, I'm still working, like I said, on that little four-stroke engine. It's, uh, I spoke to Maddie on the phone today. I said, look, Maddie, I've been taking three steps forward and two steps back. Now, also through the week, I had John. So John popped over. John runs a channel called, I think it's called BMS 250 Ford and uh, he lives in another state. He was in Melbourne. He, he was lucky enough to pop in and say g'day uh, before we went back into lockdown. Yeah, you heard it right. Melbourne is in lockdown 5.0. So yeah, it uh, freaking sucks, but look, I'm not gonna go on a rant here. Anyway, look, thanks for stopping by the channel. As you can hear, I've got this bloody chihuahua, uh, you know, jumping on me at the moment. He wants to be fed. He's a pain in my ass, but anyway, I love him. Good on you guys. Thanks again. Great seeing you and I'll catch us all next week. Cheers. And if we just uh, shove the oh, micrometer, the fuck weird. I'm in the workshop today. Hey, listen, I don't know what all the fuss is. I hear all this talk about work holding and it's really hard to hold parts. Here at Humpty Dumpty Machining Company, we just use a block of timber and a couple of screws. Take a look. Bob's your uncle. Come back later and I'll show you how to do some bloodletting with leeches. What are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a chihuahua. I'm not afraid to use it.